Hey Church, as we are joining together this month in a time of prayer and fasting, I am pleased to be able to share with you some areas we can be praying for for our children. As we pray today, I want to share with you a verse that we are declaring over our audacious kids this year. It's Psalm 92 verse 13 and it says, Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. We really want our kids to flourish. We want them to flourish in their walk with God, in their homes, in their schools, in their development and in their relationships. We are believing that each child will have a real sense of belonging to God's family and that they will have the feeling of home in our audacious house. We want each child to be filled with his love and his word. We are also believing that our kids have great faith for the miraculous, as well as ownership of God's house and the communities that we live in. For anything to grow, fruit, vegetables, plants, trees, flowers, animals, us, we need to be planted in an environment for growth. And this is amazingly illustrated in Jesus' parable of the sower. And it goes like this. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it didn't have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a large crop. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on the rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they only last a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness um, choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a large crop. So as you can see, the chances of the word of God growing in our kids' hearts and minds is very dependent on the environments these seeds are sown into. As plants and trees flourish in their respective soils and climates, so shall the word of God in our amazing, audacious kids. Now with that in mind, let's pray for the environments our kids find themselves in so that their roots grow deep and healthy in God and their lives are a testimony to all as they flourish and shine. The first thing I'd love us to pray for is the school environment. I'd love us to pray uh, for our Church of England schools to appoint head teachers that are on fire for Jesus. Let's pray for those that need support in school that they get it quick so that they can flourish in their education. For our children to shine bright and share the love of Jesus. For our children to see God move when they pray and feel the confidence of the Holy Spirit with them. The second environment I'd love us to pray for is our home environments, the home environments our children are in. Let's pray for each home to be a safe place for rest, fun, nurture, and a place that family can grow together in the word of God. And thirdly, let's pr pray for our children in our church environment. Let's pray for every child to experience the power of God's word, not to just be hearers, but activators of the truth in their world. 
And as you continue to pray for our precious children, I pray also that you would flourish as you remain planted in the house and inspire our children to keep in God's word and to grow up in his house. Father God, we thank you for our audacious children and we commit every one of them to you, whether they have been coming for five minutes or five years. God, we commit every one of them to you. And Lord, we pray for every environment that they are in and we pray that they would flourish. God, we pray that um, their environments would be nurtured and healthy in your mighty name. And God, we just pray for a great flourishing of every, every child. Bless our children, bless our families, we pray. Amen. Have a great day, church. Thanks for joining us today.